Hello guys, good day. I'm back again for another tutorial. This is HBT tutorial for your basics installation, setup, and configuration for BC dial and go auto dial. Okay, so for today, guys, tutorial I will teach you on how to create an okay, guys. So for today, I will teach you on how to create an IVR or call menu for your inbound calling on your go auto dial. So Okay guys, so for now we will you need to log into your uh go to dial admin again. So Okay, so after that, uh, for now, I will, because I disabled my carrier, so I will enable back again so that we can do some testing on how to, uh, on how to use or enable or how it works the call menu and other setting, okay? So this is our inbound. So this is our incoming, incoming uh, Twilio settings. Okay. Okay. So after that, you need to. Um, what is this? You need to go to your telephone and check your inbound settings. Okay. So from here we have uh, uh, we have here our DID that we added before when we configuring the uh, originating or the inbound calling for from Twilio DID to the BG dial. Okay, so this is our TFN right now. Okay, so. So we have here eight one. I think this is not. Uh, I will. I will cancel this one. I will disable this one because I will lose the first one. So this is the. This is our DID. So you can modify this one. And routed to in group uh, before settings. So we need to route them to call menu, okay? So from here, uh, when you're adding a DID or your originating number, that's called uh, D DID, so direct inward dialing. So from your number, so from the in-group call handling method, always put CID lookup so that <coughs> when somebody already called using their caller id and you already up uh, and you already input some contact details or info from that caller id or the or the customer number so you can assist the system will be retrieved the details from that customer okay because the default setting from this did settings advanced setting is cid so it means every cold or every the customer calling back it will log as new leads or the new customer always okay so that the best settings for the did you need to set to cid lookup you can see all these settings or the um, what is this all the meaning on the VG dial so they have a uh, option here the question mark option here so you can uh, or means the question mark means help so you can show what is the meaning of CID lookup what is the meaning of the CID lookup uh, PRL and CID law alternative number address three or others okay so this is the 
uh, best settings for our onward or the inward call or the incoming call okay and then i will update for now so right now our default did um i will delete this one I will this one so that we you're not confused on our settings so right now yeah i will also delete this one so that you're not confused so right now our incoming call was routed to in group okay so today we will teach you on how to create an ivr or the call menu just called call menu so this one they have already here so we can delete this one so that we we can create a new one that's the default call menu for the uh, go dial okay so you, you can add over here this one this called in group interactive voice and this one so we can add the interact call menu it means the interactive voice control okay so this one uh, in, in the check inbound menu or ivr or ivr call menu ivr okay and then uh menu greeting you can add your this one you can add any uh, it means uh, audio for the greetings that you want to play when the call was answered okay uh timeout no because we, we will add that soon or later and if you want how many uh if you want if the timeout was already passed how many um uh the call menu was it will play again okay so it means they will repeat two times okay uh tracking group call menu so i will track the my in group and for user group you can set all user or you can go to the all agent for now we will use the default okay and then next so from here this is the option now so you can set here press one for like sales and route to your in group sales for my in group then select for this one this is a sales then you can set to sales okay so you can set also see that see i did look up for that and this one config id is that okay for phone code if you have other another phone code you can set load balance or other and this one is a extra settings i think yeah and for press two like uh sales then support like and also if you you need to make another uh in group for that support we will add later okay so if you want to change the list id you can change by default the uh, list id use is 9888 for all inbound calls and for the three option three like accounting or billing so we will create later and uh, we will modify this and create another uh, in group for this okay so and then for timeout it means uh the client or the customer did not press anything it will be hung up or repeat if you want for me i will choose hung up or go to voicemail if you want and you can set your voicemail box for now we don't have a voicemail box uh customer team okay we will set this one this is the test on this voicemail i think these are the ports on the bg we will try this one and for time check it means uh, office close so you can set a route where do you want to route them or you can go to voicemail again sa customer service like customer service it will go the voicemail to the customer service and lastly invalid so we can refit so it means it will play again uh, to call menu it will back to uh, call menu so it's not yet so we will uh, we will remove first we will remove the 
invalid okay then submit so we have now created our call menu so from here we need, i will create another in group for sales and billing okay so this is our in group this one i will call sales so it is our sales group active then you can go to you can set to agent or go dial admin voicemail no need for now so random call uh, we will check to QS call uh, okay get call launch for okay no need no need for now to set that uh, for that the script for the incoming call so we have now two and then we can add another one is called the billing department for the billing and then this one is billing department okay department okay and then okay next voicemail we can set not for now random for now so we can set to pos call submit Okay. and then you need to update your uh, campaign so that that uh, inbound will be assigned if you have a lot of campaign so you can update it over here or for example we only have one campaign then you can you need to add all those sales this one is a transfer group so that agent they can transfer from other group okay then update and then we need to go back to our telephony again then inbound so we will now change our phone uh, the routing so from now it's an in group so we will modify this one and our cold routing is will be on cold menu and we can change uh, we can select our inbound cold menu and update submit that's all so now we going we can now try to make a test call using our incoming number okay so let me watch my incoming numbers i will open that one to other side and then my number is one three four okay so let's it's busy so let me double check my carrier it's active so i need to go to my footy again to double check uh what will happen to go down down okay okay so from here we will go updates okay so we can check here why the call was not passing let me go and check yeah it say it's rejected why it's rejected it means 603 it's declined why this decline again so one uh, so one plus one okay so let me go back to let me double check again my settings okay
okay guys so we need to check our settings so uh, okay so my call was not passing so let me check the if i called okay so tracking bound tracking bound send to in bali action no handler para to inbound menu s so let me go check that okay so let me double check inbound on our cold menu so this one is already goes to all menu and this one goes to IVR ok so 24 hours so 24 hours calling I'm gonna set to agent this one option 1 option 2 so no value for now menu greetings track inbound group uh, I think this tracking will be changed to active active all are active right now and from here is already active let me double check again goes to hold menu hold menu IVR advanced settings Okay, so all correct. I'm gonna check. Uh, okay, this one is correct also. In group, billing 55. Okay, so it means it's not a very load maybe it's not loaded on the tire plant yet set this I will back to in group let me try to put back on the in group like the okay we don't check on the billing department yeah on our in group it's working fine your phone is very important to us okay so only the issue our IVR let me go back and double check the settings our IVR is active yeah, let's check to the port 24 hours to in group engines to call me now so all user group in group in group Music on hold. The point of users. Okay, so let me double check now. Tracking bound in group. So it's not yet loaded to location okay, back.
check if power settings will load and then we will check the call menu option why invalid under so from here we have sent to invalid but no in under priority So this is our trunk inbound code. Okay, let me double check the default. Call in. What do you want from me? I was not listening up there. Call me load. If I use the default call menu modified So, I'm going to reload the dial plan. I think the issue was the dial plan is not reloaded so that our new inbound menu was not listed on the dial plan entry or in the dial plan show. the port lag ok bg dialed internal yeah there is no control yeah it's still inbound so we will still showing this inbound menu oh, it's not saved inbound menu updates from here we need to force to reload so we we'll go here uh, okay maybe on system settings uh, server settings and modified from here you can force to uh, okay reconfigured yes 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 then submit dashboard and let's check if the if uh and then let me double check here so let me check my screen yeah still having eight screen running so check the dial plan okay that thing okay that thing is now working because you see here our dial plan for incoming it's showing so you need to force at the okay so now the format was exist it means because i don't have any file uh from the system so if i press one yeah as you can see it's coming okay so now i'm on inbound Check or I'm here. 
bound code. So from here it said close na yun yung one. Okay. Let's call again. So I don't have an okay or ojo. Okay, so I will press two. So for Matula, closer for 911, inbound 222 for menu extension. Let me double check my code menu. Let me try if this CD slash bar. Let's try to upload the. Let me check this one if it's here. Okay, so the audio file is on our live sound. As the channel, channel, channel. Okay, let me double check this one if it's this audio file will be uploaded on our system. If not, we can get a uh, audio file over here. So we can upload another audio. So let's try to upload another audio. Check. Hope oh, music on hold. Play some music. Uh, add voice. one so that we have an audio file uploaded okay so it's not showing here okay so we're going to change our IBR modified so from here also from the comp so we go still use let me check use this one okay in group and then time out okay
So from here, silence, I inbound, zip silence. Okay, from in group balance to okay, in bond called muna as loop in group closer. It's not yet not reloading it so that okay, it's not. this one yeah 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 okay okay option I'm out those mail update sometimes the reloading is not too fast so you need to reload again to force reload using over here okay advance and then reload okay if you check over here you need to wait a few minutes or a second one one to two me one to five minutes to reload the config For now, let me double check. Okay, then when I press one, okay, yeah, still on uh, sales line inbound called menu, it will go to okay. So, since the song swatch update already, but for the inbound so only the issue now is the option tracking so this one it will goes to company in group then inbound group I set none. Let me double check if there is no campaign assigned. Okay, campaign, campaign, none. Submit. So from here, I think, but if I show the dial plan again. Good. Overload. Uh, reload. Shift reload. All the reloads. Yeah, it will always go to the same line. See? So that it will go to invalid, invalid, invalid. <laughs> So let me try to force reload again on the server settings. Uh -huh. Modified from here. So going to 
Accepting authentication call. Okay. Okay. So this is an issue again for our call menu. The call was not routed successfully to the in group. So what we're gonna do is the inbound was okay. Uh, the issue is only the in group was not routed. Uh, uh, call call menu. Let me log if I set to sales. Let me check. So it means we still having hard or not generating correctly the so we have a incoming call. So this one is not work because they disabled. Okay. So uh, I think IVR still have issue on the go to dial version 4 is not working it's not working so as you can see we already route the call to like this one is an inbound call to in using in the in group but the call was not successfully transferred to the in group option okay so i don't think what is the issue but we will try to figure out so i uh, will try to uh, try to delete and recreate this example I'm gonna delete okay and then I will recreate the uh, call menu this menu we will try to recreate another name so the put default Valid 24 hours calling call menu target group call menu default so like the inbound press one in group again okay press sales area sales number two billing department so in group billing CID lookup number 3 uh, support let's check in group then go to the inbound code then we submit campaign ID campaign ID then campaign ID Okay, so let's check our dial flag now. So we need to update the dial plan. Report log, park calls, etc. Dial plan show. still not there for reload check reload dial plan reload dial plan show yeah so we need to do some force reload again on our aspects on our 
more server so go here settings servers and then over here so you can do balance dialing is not fine reconfigured submit okay then you need to wait Dialogue show so it's not yet Okay, let's double check. So if I press one, oops, it's not goes to yeah. Let uh go. Maybe I change our DID. Uh, go back to telephone inbound. So we are going to change again this one to uh, IVR call menu, press menu, advanced, low balance, update. So we can check again. Go to welcome IVR. So we don't go to IVR. Okay. So we have successfully transferred. So it means we need to recreate again our IVR so that it will go to correct IVR. Okay. Let me double check again. If I called, as you can see, the incoming call was goes to IVR. Okay. So this one go welcome IBR is playing so if I press 3 it will goes to inbound group okay so the inbound here is not working uh, the, the press 3 okay so that the inbound so it, let me double check that setting later if I press 2 Okay, press two is working. This is your phone is very important to This is the uh, press two. Okay, so let me double check again the uh, press one. Press one is is not working. Okay, so only the press two was working. Okay, so let me double check what is the press 1 and the press 2. If I go here, uh, press 1 sales, the billing department was working fine. But they are the same settings inbound. And this one inbound. Okay. This is an inbound group, so we will go to the sales, billing department, and the uh, inbound. So we need to check that group, the inbound group. Okay, so let me go again to modify this one. Uh, let me add another field, timeout, say goodbye and then let's check press 4 we will be on uh, what's really this okay so like uh, yeah press 4 uh-huh goes to voicemail select voicemail okay this 
let me check the first five voicemail uh, let me check the with robocall test robot okay means the two settings was working the two inbound the two inbound group was working only this one is not working maybe because because of this uh, we can set this one to even uh, let me go here let me no way let me check on hold generic agents okay so i think it's inbound no available agent so uh, accept when calls accept call when are no available yes okay so we can set to we can set to withdraw let me double check let me check the default settings from these two how about the sales yeah, this one accept call when are no agent available no okay i think that's the issue let me press three the person at extension two yeah. nine two zero is unavailable please leave your message after the tell so when that two, two, hang two, two, up two. or press the pound key Okay, good. Let me check another. If I press four or four, oh, it's not yet updated. If I press one, the person at extension two nine two zero is unavailable. Please leave so your message after the tone. Is so done, message. hang up so or press the pound key. Seals. Okay. And then billing department. So I think this is only the issue and also the other settings. So yes. So no agent, no calls. If I press one again, the person at extension yeah, is not two. yet updated. So I have to call reload. Dialog line reload. Shift reload. So we will do all the reloads. Let me press three. The person at extension two nine. Two zero is unavailable. Please leave your message after the tone. When done, hang up. Oh. Not yet. Inbound twenty four hour schooling. This is the inbound. So let's check another the billing. So let's check to know and group. Check another the seals. Are 
so it means in group so it means we will not accepting calls ok so let's try yeah. it will hold so it means the uh, still accept, accepting calls for the incoming okay so i think we have already fixed our issue and we can able to receive our incoming call using the go to dial uh, version 4 so uh, only the issue is the system was not really pass the reloading their dial plan so we need to uh go to the settings first and servers and choose here modified advance and you need to uh recon file or rebuild the uh settings so you need to wait a few minutes one to five minutes before the server getting reload all the config or the zip settings trunks etc on on the dialer so that's only the issue and now we can able to get the call using the press a uh, call menu or the ivr with the specific uh like uh, for sales and others okay so guys uh, thank you again i think this is the tutorial for today on how to create and configure your go to dial v4 for your originating or the incoming call pass to ivr or the call menu and routed to a specific department okay guys once again this is hbd tutorial for your basic setup configures installation and for video dial and go to dial and thank you guys and once again don't forget to give me a like or if you like the video you can share and if you're not subscriber you can click the notification uh the subscribe button and click the uh, and click the notification bell so that you always updated on my latest video okay guys thank you again and bye bye guys